Start by learning to read the help files. The help system in Windows PowerShell is its discovery mechanism. It's its operating manual. It's how you find the commands that are going to accomplish whatever task you're trying to complete, and it's how you'll learn how to use those commands. You know, we tell our users all the time, why can't you just read the directions? But you know, we don't always like to do that ourselves. If you don't read and use the help system in PowerShell, you will fail at PowerShell. So that's a, a really, really important starting point. The next tip is to start small. You don't have to conquer your entire new user provisioning system as the very first thing you tackle. Start with something little. Gather some information from a few machines. Construct that management report the boss has been asking you for. Run these as commands. You don't need to build out a giant batch file. PowerShell's not a programming language. It contains a scripting language, but that's not how you need to start. Get yourself comfortable with it. Learn the patterns and the cadences of the shell. Get used to how it wants you to behave. And then you can start building on that from there. Look, just because you saw somebody's blog with a 300 line script doesn't mean that's the only way to approach PowerShell. And it doesn't mean it's the first way to really become successful at it. And last and most importantly, do something. Do something with the shell. Pick a task. The biggest problem people have is they'll pick up a book or they'll watch a training video or go to a class and then they'll kind of just go back to the daily grind. Force yourself to do this. And, and here's a great tip for doing that. Go to your help desk ticketing system. Find some task that people are doing over and over and over and over and that they're burning a lot of time on and automate that because that's a quick return on investment. And it might take you 10 hours to come up with the, the command or the script that automates it, but if you can save that time, it'll pay back pretty quickly. And that'll force you to start doing what's gonna happen anyway. You're gonna run into a brick wall. You're gonna run into a problem. You can go to community resources like PowerShell.org for help, but just doing it and getting past that hurdle is how you'll really learn that and start becoming a PowerShell master.